What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Samurai Sports Network and today look I don't expect a lot of you guys to kind of click on this video. I'm only expecting maybe 10 15 people uh, This isn't really a normal upload day for me, but I wanted to you know Kind of just keep uploading and I, and I have a little bit to talk about this I'm not gonna get way too in-depth about it because I know uh, this is a sports channel and I'm not gonna go into politics I'm not gonna I'm just gonna talk about it because for those of you who don't know, I, I mean, I would find it hard for you not to know, but um, today there was a school shooting uh, in, I guess you could say, I don't know if, if Broward is technically nor or Broward County. I don't know if it's technically northern Florida or southern Florida. Look, I really don't know how. I just know it was in Florida. It's in my home area, basically. And so it, it has a place in my heart, even though I've never been to that area. Um, but there was a school shooting, <clears throat> and right now, as I'm recording this, I think uh, 17 people have, have been confirmed dead. And <laughs> I, I just, you know, I, I'm like nervously laughing there. And it, it just, it kind of, it, 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 this one, you know, all of them hit home whenever you see a school shooting. Uh, a, a mass shooting in general. I mean, it hits home regardless because you think of anything happening to your your siblings, your family. Uh, if, if let's say you know you're a parent, you think of anything happening to your kids, and you're probably thinking like you, for those parents. I mean, to see some of the photos of the parents being able to hug their kids and seeing that their kids are safe and alive and seeing them crying and just tears of joy that their kids are alive and for other parents to, to seeing that they're there and they can't their their kids never coming back or you know I don't know if it was all kids I haven't I haven't read too much of it I saw some videos that kind of horrified me a little bit um and uh you know, if there were, I don't know if it was all kids, I'm assuming it was kids, maybe there were teachers too, but to see that on Twitter and in the news, on TV, I mean, I know my mom, you know, when I came home today, was waiting for me at the doorstep and she told me, you know, thank you for calling me, letting me know you were home, that you were safe and I'm not even around that area, but I'm her kid. Um, you know, I'm the youngest at 19 years old it, that hits home for her. Uh, there for me, you know, even though I'm 19 years old and I don't have a kid, I, I don't have anything like that working with kids and, you know, it, it, it brings the mindset of God forbid anything to happen to these kids. And I, look, I'm not their religious type here. I, I'm not the most religious person in the entire world, but you say, you know, God forbid anything happened to those kids. Most of them have been there since I started working. I've seen them grow up uh, from, you know, these little kids to now almost full grown teenagers off to start high school. Some already started high school. I think about their parents and how their parents must feel seeing, you know, even though their kids aren't around, how they must feel today, seeing that their kids got home safe, that they were able to go pick up their kids and they were safe. And not a lot of these kids even knew what was going on today, uh, except for, you know, probably some of the older ones. It's just interesting. It it, it, it hits home and it makes your heart kind of hurt. It makes you a little bit come to tears because you see stuff like that. And it's like, it, it's shocking. It, it just, it's shocking. And I don't like, <clears throat> I don't like really going into politics. The only thing I did on my channel of politics was net neutrality. I'm not going to go into the politics of this. That's not what my channel is. Um, but I felt that I needed to, you know, kind of get something off of my chest and put it onto my channel and kind of see maybe how anyone else is feeling, how anyone else thinks or sees the situation, how, you know, whatever anyone else might think about it. Um, because I'm just one person, but I'm sure that my, my feelings and my hurt aren't only me i'm sure that there are a lot of other people uh in florida and anywhere else that are hurting as well maybe in any other area that had a school shooting parents who might have lost their own kids uh parents whose kids might have not gotten lost injured uh i mean there was an offensive line coach today at that school that apparently jumped in front of bullets to protect kids and there were apparently he was dead and then another assistant coach came out and said that he's not dead that he is alive 
stuff like that, man, it just, I'm trying, I try to, you know, bring myself into a nervous laugh a little bit just because I, I'm, I feel like I'm going to break down in tears and it's not even, it's not even my kids. It's not even my family, but it, it hurts. It hurts. And I've been thinking, I mean, nonstop since I heard about it, when it happened, I've been thinking about it and looking at stuff on Twitter, seeing pictures of kids hiding. Uh, there's a Snapchat going around that is on Twitter now of this kid uh, where there were, you can hear the gunshots being fired. A kid in front of him, I'm pretty sure it's just blood all over her shirt. You hear, you know, the screaming and the crying of these girls. And like, just you, I mean, I could have sworn I heard why or like, just help me or something like, I just, I, <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. Like, geez, man, what is, what is wrong? When, when can it stop? You know, that's, that's, that's what you think. When can it stop? When can we not get to this point anymore? please like it's like a please like it's like a begging type of thing man can we not have this happen again at least like not for another maybe like please like 20 30 years something like it's bound to happen eventually again obviously it's going to no matter what you do it's gonna happen again probably 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 it will happen again but please no like, I would wish that would never happen again, but maybe not again for another 300, 400, 500 years, something. Like, just, when will it stop? That That's what I just have to say. You know, for, like, the maybe 15 of you that watch this video, that's what I'm really expecting. Because you guys expect Dolphins content from me. You don't expect videos like this. Um, I guess let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys are religious in any way. You know, put your thoughts and prayers, I guess, with with the people who um, have died, the families that lost their children or just <clears throat> I, the families who even didn't lose their children, just that are you hope that they are OK and that they can somehow get past this because this is traumatizing for them. And um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. There'll be uh, a CFM up tomorrow, and then Friday I'll have something for you. I don't know what right now, uh, but I'll have something. And, yeah, I'm going to try to get a CFM out on Saturday as well. So, yeah, just peace out.